what we have is a uh, one-of-a-kind design boat. Uh, we call it a slicer hull, so it just moves through the water, making no wake, and it's easy to push because we're pushing it with about oh, 10 horsepower maximum. So it takes a little bit to you know to push it along, and all the power comes in their electric motors, of course. And we make our power with the solar panels that we have. We we have uh, 15 on the boat, giving it about 4,000 watts, of which we use about 2,000 to push it. But I had this this vision dream of going around America's Great Loop, and the fuel bill in a boat. If I could have got a boat, was going to be uh, astronomical. It would have been probably $20,000 to just for fuel alone. So I, I tried to figure out a way to, to come up with a boat. It was finally we decided to just build it. My uh, my last uh, bucket list. Uh, I've done. I've been fortunate to do a lot of things, and uh, so this is the one. This is. Without much, many issues, we've been sucked out to sea, we've ran aground numerous times, hit crab pots, damaged props, been anchored in a nor'easter for five days, so it's been <laughs> quite an adventure so far. Yeah, I mean, I've only been on the boat like a week. Because today's Monday, right? Or is it Tuesday? Today is Monday. Tuesday. I got on the boat last Monday. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I'm definitely, she's definitely has more of a perspective for the longer term because she's been on the boat 10 weeks now. Yeah. So, so the crew changes, I guess. Oh, yeah. It okay. has been. I mean, okay. these two guys are always here, I guess. No, um, well, Danny, Danny and Jim. arrived like 18 days before me. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's Jim. He takes different crew guys. Jim's boat, Jim's adventure, has, he started it out. Mm -hmm. But I think so far, Susie and Danny have definitely, aside from Jim, have been the longest running crew members because there have been like 18 or 19 other fourth members. Like, okay. I'm like the 19th fourth member, I think. <laughs> Wow, it's <laughs> going, going through some crew. But they they like me so much better than those other ones, I know. <laughs> well, I used to. Put it in reverse. I was always a fan of Mark Twain, and that's what we're waiting on, is waiting to go around the next bend to find a new story, wherever we go. Even people like you, you know, we find you, we love it. And that's, uh, that's kind of what it's all about to me. Been quite educational, so I guess it's like another way to put it. This is last my last education. True America.